Jingle All the Way by Tom Shea Zapian. If you have a jingle story buddy, it's time to turn him on so he can respond as his story is read aloud. If you don't have a jingle story buddy, just sit back and enjoy the story. There are lots of stories about good little boys and girls, but there aren't many stories about good little dogs. But this is a story about Jingle the husky pup, and Jingle was a good dog. He never made a mess. He never chewed holes in things. He never, not even once, kept people awake at night with his barking. And he always, okay, almost always, did what he was told. One day, Jingle was resting beside the front steps of Pineville Elementary School. Suddenly, the school bell began clanging out loud, and the children who were inside ran outside. That made Jingle very happy. So he came back the next day, and the same thing happened. The bell rang. And the children hurried out. It was amazing. Kevin patted his belly. Sarah scratched his ears. Jennifer said, "Jingle, you're a good dog." Jingle loved to bark hello. Jingle even loved to sing. But what Jingle loved most was being with his friends. He liked to race Kevin to the edge of the schoolyard. But every day, Kevin said, "Bye, Jingle. It's time for me to go." Sometimes he followed Sarah to the school bus, but Sarah only said, "Sorry, Jingle. I've got to go home." One snowy day, Jingle even dashed all the way to Jennifer's house. Jennifer laughed, "Silly dog, Jingle, you've got to go home." Usually, Jingle did exactly what he was told, but since he didn't have a home, he couldn't go there. Instead, he went back to Pineville Elementary and waited for the school bell. He waited all night and all day, but it didn't ring. Jingle decided to look for his friends. After all, they were the closest thing he had to a family. He searched everywhere, but the kids were nowhere to be found. Then, Jingle remembered seeing a very long line of kids at the toy store. What were they waiting for so patiently? Was it important? The very thought of finding his friends made Jingle want to sing. But when Jingle arrived at the store, there were no children. There was only a colorful storefront window and a whole lot of quiet. Jingle was tired from all of his searching. So he made his way behind the toy store and plopped into the first soft place he found and fell fast asleep. And even though it didn't feel like home, it was quite cozy. Moments later, someone carefully lifted the bag Jingle had snuggled into. "Well, what have we here?" a voice spoke warmly. "Someone all alone at Christmas?" Placing the green velveteen bag in front of his sled, the man remembered a letter he'd been given earlier that day from a good little boy in the toy store. "Ho ho ho," he said to himself. "This gives me an idea." He wasn't sure what was going to happen, but suddenly, Jingle felt very happy. The next morning, Jingle was surrounded by the smell of pine and peppermint. There was a fancy collar around his neck with a bell that jingled whenever he moved.
But the best surprise of all came when Jingle saw Andrew, one of his friends from school. It's Jingle, Andrew said. Jingle, you're such a good dog. The two friends spent the rest of Christmas Day playing together, Jingle's bell ringing merrily all the while. That night, before Andrew turned out the lights in his room, Jingle hopped onto the bed. Andrew said, Jingle, stay. And Jingle did. <laughs>